To demonstrate the power of the LOB Address Verification API, we're going to be using the demo interface we provide on the LOB website. But I want you to imagine that everything you see happening here could be happening behind the scenes as part of a data cleanse, in real time on your address collection forms, or in streamlining your e-commerce checkout flow. The most basic and probably the most important piece of information we return is deliverability. We return five different deliverability statuses based on the information submitted. Deliverable, deliverable unnecessary unit, deliverable incorrect unit, deliverable missing unit, and finally undeliverable. To demonstrate a few of these as well as other key components, let's walk through a few scenarios. The first thing I want to highlight is our autocomplete feature. When a customer starts typing in the first line of their address, we'll see suggestions for the completed address. By giving customers these suggestions, we're able to avoid any spelling or formatting errors right from the beginning. This also helps speed up the form process, leading to an improved form completion rate. When we hit verify, we see this address is in fact deliverable, and our formatting has been adjusted to meet USPS standards and include the zip for it. When filling out this form, let's add a spelling error to our street here and change street to avenue. As you can see, the address is returned, corrected, and deliverable. Another common issue our customers run into is when they forget to provide a unit number. As you can see, this address is still deliverable. However, we're notified that we're missing the unit number. Maybe that's fine for our business, but depending on your goals, we may want to use this information to prompt the customer to add more details. We can even add an incorrect unit number and see this is deliverable. However, it indicates that the unit is incorrect. And lastly, we can see that if we go really crazy with this address and type in a bunch of gibberish, we'll get an undeliverable status. So you probably wouldn't want to accept this information and maybe require the customer to make some updates. As a leader in direct mail and having processed mail to one in two US households, LOB is uniquely equipped with mail delivery information. We're able to return a score between zero and 100, predicting the likelihood that a mail piece will be delivered. For example, if we have sent two pieces of mail to an address and only one was delivered, we would return a score of 50. This is a very useful piece of information that helps businesses avoid potentially false negatives and false positives. You may have noticed that in addition to the deliverability status of an address, LOB also returns a whole lot more information about an address to help you enrich customer data and further improve your processes. I'm going to call out just a few of them here. The first is address type. Address type looks at USPS's RDI or residential delivery indicator. Many of LOB's fintech and insurance customers use this to verify a user is giving them their home address instead of accidentally adding their work address. Additionally, many shipping providers actually charge more for residential deliveries. So by identifying which addresses are residential or commercial, you can inform your shipping decisions and optimize costs. Record type is where we surface what type of delivery address this is, whether it's rural, street, or in this case, a high rise. So you can further optimize your delivery and better understand your customers. Next, we have carrier route type. By passing route information along to your carrier, you can take advantage of pre-sort postage discounts offered by many carriers. Next, let's take a look at vacancy. A deliverable address does not necessarily mean it's occupied. If a building registers as vacant, even though it's a deliverable address, you may want to double check with your customer. This can also help identify potentially fraudulent purchases. We sometimes see real estate agencies using this information to target vacant units as potential listings. Next, we have the county FIPS. This identifies the exact county and addresses in, which is crucial when calculating accurate sales tax. Let's take a look at geocodes. This is a great feature. It can be used in a variety of different ways. However, a common use case we see is e-commerce websites showing a mapped visual on an order confirmation page. Using LOB for geocoding actually returns more accurate information than many mapping solutions, as these solutions will force a pin into where that mapping service thinks the address should be, regardless of whether it's a deliverable address. However, if you put the address through LOB's address verification, it will return the corrected address with the latitude and longitude of the deliverable building. Additionally, this information can be used to improve directions for last mile delivery 
or service calls. Lab offers 300 free verifications per month to help you get started. All of this and more is available with Lab's address verification APIs.